Hey everyone, it is Jay Soloff, Lead Options Analyst here at Investors Alley, and I'm once again at MarketChameleon.com looking at some uh, interesting options activity. So uh, earlier I was checking out their uh, unusual options screener, and I saw that MGM Resorts was on there, and so uh, I took a closer look in case you uh, aren't familiar with, and you probably are, though the MGM runs a bunch of uh, casinos, uh, places like Vegas and other places around uh, the globe, uh, one of the bigger uh, casino operators on the market. So I saw that it had traded quite a bit. And if we scroll down here, we can look at here's the uh, normal volumes. You can see that uh, while well, equity uh, traded, so the actual stock didn't trade nearly as much. You can look at look at this options activity normally trades about. 11,500 today traded over 36,000. So obviously something was going on and you can see here earnings are on the 30th of October. So maybe there's something coming up here ahead of earnings. So we can certainly take a look at that. Go to options down to trades and kind of see what is happening. Now, just look at this trade list. It may not mean that much to you. I mean, look at a bunch of two lots, one lots, maybe here's some bigger trades, 200. But what I really want to see is I want to see the really big trades because that's probably happening from a major fund or big trader institution uh, that, uh, you know, is putting a lot of resources behind it. So sure enough, we have a couple really big trades here. Here's a spread that happened at 1.03 p.m. So what's going on here? Well, one of them has a lot of open interest and one of them doesn't. One of them expires sooner than the other. So what this looks to me is like a roll trade. Someone is rolling out some options. So let's look in particular, the stock here is, was at almost 28. So someone took those 28 calls that expired on October 25th. There's 5,000 of them. They sold them here because they hit the bid. So they sold them for 45 cents and then they bought not the same amount, but the same dollar amount. So 225,000 they bought instead of buying 5,000, they bought 4,500 at 50 cents. So what they did is they bought an extra week and they moved up a strike to 29 and then they paid 50 cents. You can see they paid above the ask, so this was a buy. And uh, you know, again, this was done for, uh, for even, right? So they sold these, they bought these, they didn't, they changed some strikes, they changed the quantity, but they kept the dollar amount the same. So uh, this is an opening trade. It looks like a bullish call trade. Why? Well, this is almost certainly an earnings play. Um, maybe there was something that was supposed to happen before earnings, because obviously here October 25th is before October 30th. But whatever it is, um, doesn't seem to have happened or they whoever's making this trade doesn't believe it's going to happen at least prior to earnings. So now they've moved it to the Friday of the week of earnings, actually the uh, two days after earnings. So uh, whatever they believe might have been bullish news on this, uh, this company. Um, now they probably believe it's going to be discussed at earnings or maybe they just, uh, you know, maybe they just decided that they wanted to have earnings as part of their potential bullish play. So we don't know the reason. We do know that it was extended out. We do know now that it it includes earnings and it's this is almost certainly a pure bullish play on MGM. So we'll see just taking a quick look at the chart here before we end this and you know we can see um you know, it's been fairly range bound here. We throw in some moving averages and you know we're, we're right about at the 200 day and not quite at the 50 day. So maybe this uh, trader or fund believes it's going to break above this range. Maybe try to go up here to, uh, you know, the 31 type range, which would you know, make a couple bucks on a twenty nine dollar call. So that's probably the intention here. Uh, this would be an easy trade for you to make uh, simply buying a call only requires basic permission in your options account. It's only uh, 50 cents per call, so $50 a call, so not a lot of capital required. Um, Short-term trade, obviously, but we do have the big event in earnings coming up. So if you want to learn more about these types of strategies, you can check out my Option Trading Mastery courses. There's a link uh, on this page, and uh, 
get a look at the courses that I offer that I teach these sort of uh, strategies and sort of information about options.